Hi children, welcome back to the second language English 9th standard. The second unit, the three questions. This is the second session. Yes, we have discussed many more points in the last session. Yeah, before going to that, complete this one. Have you completed this one? Home assignment? Yes. Answer the following extract. If you can give no answer, tell me so. Who said this? Who is the speaker of the sentence? Very good. The king. Why did he want answer? Yeah. If he knew the answer, he would never fail in his kingdom. Very good. Next, the third question. Where was the speaker? Very good. The speaker at the hermit's hut. Yes, these are the questions from the first session class. Very good. Next, change into passive voice. We have discussed simple present and simple past tense in the last class. Now, change this sentence into passive voice. I want answers to my questions. I want answers to my questions. Here, subject is I. Very good. Next, verb want. Next, answers is an object. Very good. Now, object comes to the subject place. Answers. Answers is a plural noun. So, we should use a. Ah. Very good. Answers are wanted by I changes into me when the uh, pronoun I comes to the object place. It changes into me. Very good. Answers are wanted by me to my questions. Very good. Now, the second sentence. Hermit helps the king to get the answers. Change this one. Yeah. Hermit, subject, helps, verb, the king is an object. So, we should use the object into subject place. So, the king, king is very good, singular noun. Yeah. The king is singular noun. So, we should use is only. Next, helps verb 1 changes into verb 3 form. Help, helped, helped. The king is helped by Hamid to get the answers. Now, let us recall the previous session. We, what are the points we have discussed? Yeah, the king wanted to know answer for his three questions. What are the questions? Yes, very good. What is the right time to begin? Something. Who should a king listen to? What is the most important thing for a king to do? These are the three questions. Then, many wise men came and answered differently. Yeah. So, the king was not satisfied. He decided to meet a hermit. Next, the hermit was digging the ground. Where was the hermit living? He was living in a small hut. The hermit was digging the ground. Next, the king asked three questions to the hermit. He repeated the questions. What is the right time to begin something? Who should a king listen to? What is the most important thing for a king to do? He repeated the questions. Then, but the hermit gave no answer. He did not give answer to the king. The king repeated the questions again and again. Then, the hermit did not give answer. Then, at last the king struck the spade and requested to give the answer. Good. Next, the hermit saw a man running towards them. Who was the man? What happened to the man who answered the king's questions? These are the questions we should discuss now. Let us. The king turned round and saw a bearded man running towards them. Look. Yes. Who is that man? Yeah. His hands were pressed against his stomach. Someone has stabbed him. The blood was flowing. See? See the picture? What happened to the man? When he reached the king, he fainted and fell to the ground. He was very weak. He was running 
far away from the place. Next, the king and the hermit removed the man's clothing and found a large wound in his stomach. After that, the king washed and covered the wound with his handkerchief, but the blood wouldn't stop flowing. The, the king tried, he redressed, then the king redressed the wound until at last the bleeding stopped. They took him to the hut. He was very weak, he was very tired. So, they both took him to the hut. Then, the man closed his eyes and lay quiet on the bed. The man went asleep. After that, the king was tired by his walk and work. What was the work he did? Yes, he helped the hermit by digging, by taking the spade. Yes. Next, he lay down on the floor and slept through the night. Yeah. The king was tired by his walk and work. What was the work? Yes, digging. Who was digging? The hermit was digging. By that time, the king took the spade and helped him to do the task. Yeah. Then, he lay down on the floor and slept through the night. The next day, after this, the next day, when the king woke up, he took several minutes to remember where he was and who was the bearded man. Why? Yes, very good. The king usually slept in the palace, but now he is in the hut, amidst hut. So, he could not realize all of a sudden. So, after some time, he realized where he was, who was the man. Now, what will happen? Who is this person? Yes, bearded man. What he was doing? Forgive me, said the bearded man in a weak voice. Forgive me. Why he said like this? The king was surprised. Why? I do not know you and have nothing to forgive you for, said the king. He did not know anything about the bearded man. Then, you do not know me, but I know you. I am that enemy of yours who swore revenge on you, because you put my brother to death and seized my property. I wanted to take revenge on you because you killed my brother. So, forgive me. Why did he say like that? Yeah, very good. I have made up my mind to kill you on your way home, but the day passed and you did not return. So, I left my hiding place and I came upon your bodyguard. See, this man intended to kill the king. Yes. Instead of killing this person, the king saved the man's life. So, the man was realized his mistake. Now, he is asking forgiveness. Next, the bodyguards recognized and wounded me. I escaped from him. Your bodyguard wounded me, but I escaped from the place. Now, if you hadn't dressed my wounds, I would have died. I wish to kill you, but you have saved my life. I am very grateful to you. Please forgive me. My, yes, my intention. Please forgive my, yes. Next. If I live, I will serve you as your most faithful servant, said the bearded man. The bearded man realized his mistake. Now, he is ready to be the servant of the king. This is the way Tolstoy weaving the story. Now, see how he is weaving, how he is narrating the story. Yes, next, what will happen? What will happen? The king was very happy to be, have made peace with his enemy. The king was very happy because his enemy became his friend. And so, easily and to have won him over as a friend. Now, the king 
accepted his forgiveness. Next, he not only forgave him, but also promised to give back the man's property. The king became very happy. Now, he is ready to give back his property. Now, think about this. Did the king get the answer? Did the king get the answer for his questions? No. Yes, now let us check what will happen. The king went up to the hermit and said, for the last time I beg you to answer my questions. Wise man, the king repeated. This is the fourth time he is repeating the same. For the last time I beg you to answer my questions. Wise man, I have been waiting for the ans answer to my questions. I have been waiting since last day. Please give me answer to my questions. This is the request. He is begging. The king is begging. What will happen? You have already been answered, said the hermit. How oh, have I been answered? What do you mean, said the king. See the differentiation between the two conversation. First one, you have already been answered. You have answered the questions. The king was surprised. When did I answer? He could not realize anything. How have I been answered? What did you mean? Said the king. Yes, now the hermit explains everything. In the first situation, what is the first situation? Realize now, the hermit said, if you had not pitied my weakness yesterday and had not dug these beds for me, you would have gone away then that man would have attacked you. So, now, can you guess the answer for the first question? What is the right time to begin something? Let us know. The most important time is digging beds. This is, in this situation, the most important time is digging beds. Now, the second question. Who should a king listen to? Who is the most important person? In this place, Hermit is the most important person. If he did not help him, he would die in this situation. So, important person is the Hermit. Next, the most important work. What is the work done by the king? What is the work? To do me good is the important work. In this situation, you have already been answered to the question. Most important time? Digging beds, most important person, the hermit, the most important work to do hermit, good thing. This is the first situation. Now, let us check the second situation. What is the second situation? When the man run to us, who is the man? Bearded man, very good. When the man run to us, you washed and covered with your handkerchief. Now, in the second situation, when the man ran to us, who is the man? The bearded man. Yes, you washed and covered with your handkerchief. You helped him to recover. You saved his life. Now, in this situation, who is the most important person? What is the time? What is the work? Can you guess? Yeah. Yes, your answer is correct. The most important time is carrying the bearded man. Carrying the man. Who is the most important person here? The person is? Very good. The man, the bearded man is the most important person. And the most important work? Very good. Saving the man's life. These are the situation. So, the king has already been answered to the questions. Now, the king realized the answers. Very good. Next, now the hermit explains everything. There is only one time that is important and the time is now. Now, only we should act. See children, in our daily life, we come across this situation. Next, it is the most important time because it is the only time we have only power to act. We should help now only, otherwise, 
the time will be changed. Now, the second one, the most important person is the person you are with at a particular moment. Yes, in that particular moment, who will come across us, the person is the most important. Otherwise, it's helpless, it's useless. Next, the most important business, what's our most important business? Important work is to do the person good, to help the person, to respect the person. These are the many situations we'll face, we'll come across in our life. Is to do the to do the person good because we are sent into this world for that purpose alone. Don't you think so? Yes, children. We should help, we should be kind to the poor people. Next one, come to the moral values from the lesson. What are the values we can learn from the lesson? Kindness. The king pitied to the hermit, he helped the how it? It shows the kindness. Next, hard work. Who was doing the hard work? The hermit was doing the hard work. He was a very simple man. Next one, respect. We should respect the elders. The next one, patience. We should have patience. Very good. When the king asked the questions again and again, but he was not angry towards the Hermit. In that situation, the king had patience. Next one, forgiveness. Very good. Where yeah. the king forgave the bearded man and gave back his property. Very good. These are the moral values we can learn from the lesson. Very good, children. Now we will move to the glossary words. Fainted. What is the meaning of fainted? Lost consciousness, became unconscious. Yes, bearded man became unconscious when we reached the king. The bearded man fainted before the king. It is a simple sentence which we have already discussed from the lesson. Second word. What is there? Yes, there is a watermark. What is that? Very good. Seized. Have you heard this word? Very good. What is the meaning of that word? Took by force. Uh -huh. Can you make a sentence using this word? Seized. Very good. Many vehicles are seized by the police. This is the sentence. Next word. What is there? Yeah, the aeroplane was crashed. What is there? Fatally. What is the meaning of fatally? Yes, seriously. Can you use this word in a sentence? Yes. Many passengers were fatally injured in the air crash. Yes, these are all the glossary words. Now, let us check your understanding. You should guess who is the person or what is the thing using the clues. Let us play a game. The game is, I will give you clues, you should identify who is the person or what is the thing. Now, the first clue is, I wanted to know the answer to my questions. Who is the person? Do not you know? I will give you one more clue. I was an enemy of the wounded man. Who is that person? The king. King is the answer. Very good. Now, let us move to the next one. The clues are, I am a simple man. I was living in a small hut. Now, I gave answer to the king's questions. Who is the simple man here? Hermit. Very good. The hermit is a simple man here. Now, let us move to the next word. Clues are, I saw revenge on the king. I wanted to take revenge on the king. The king's bodyguard wounded me. Who is that person? Don't know. This is one more clue. I became king's faithful servant. Who is that person? Very good. Is the 
wounded man or the bearded man these are the clues one more question yeah i am very important in everyone's life i am the most important thing in everyone's life uh, what is that one more clue is there you see me every day what is the thing guess 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 very good guess don't know i'll give you one more clue if you lose me i will never come in your life who is that person or what is that thing don't know that one is the time time is very important in one's life we shouldn't waste our time now we'll move to the questions i don't know you and have nothing to forgive you for the first question is who is i referred to who is the i here the king now the second question who is you here who is the you very good the bearded man is the you here now the third question how did i help the you how did the king help the hermit the king saved the bearded man's life he forgave the man and gave back his property this is the answer for the third question now let us move to the voices today we will discuss the present and past progressives or the continuous tenses let us know which what is the first sentence we are watching the class here we is yes the subject are watching is a verb here are is helping verb watching is a main verb these two are in the verb section now the class is an object to change this sentence into passive voice the object comes into the subject place now the object is the class very good the class here the class is a singular noun you should remember this and we should use singular verb here the class is in the progressive tense or the continuous tense we should use being to change the active sentence into passive voice sentence what should we use here being to show the continuous tense we should use being so the class is being watched by has we changes into has in the object place this is the sentence now what is there we should use this formula to change the active voice sentence into passive voice now the second sentence the guest is distributing the prizes change this sentence into passive voice here the subject is the guest very good and the verb is very good he is distributing the object the prizes this is the sentence now the object into the subject place use the formula the prizes is a plural we should use the prizes are what is the word we should use here being in the continuous tense we should use being to change active voice sentence into passive voice the prizes are being distributed by the guest here the is is used in the active voice sentence now that sentence changes the prizes here the prizes is plural and the active voice sentence is present continuous tense so we should use how only because the prizes is plural form the play prizes are being distributed by the guest now let's move to the past continuous tense past progressive we are now we were watching a movie here it's also very simple sentence here subject is we were watching verb a movie is an object now 
you can change easily as you are good yes the answer is a movie singular noun so we should use was in the continuous tense we should use the word being then a movie was being watched by us what should we remember here was a war plus one plus ing changes into was a war plus being plus verb 3 you should remember this now let us move to the perfect tense present perfect tense i have written a letter here subject is i have written the verb a letter is an object now you can change a letter s yes. comes to the subject place has is used yes what is there been very good been is there why should we use your the word been because to show the past participle form we should use been here a letter has been written by me what should we remember here if the activized sentence has have or has plus verb 3 form we should change if it is plural noun use have if it is singular noun use has plus been plus verb 3 let us know the second example you will get an idea this is the sentence sadik has written letters very simple sentence sadik has written letters observe there sadik is a singular noun so has is there now change this into passive voice letters plural noun so we should use have letters have been written by sadik now let's move to the next we had written letters past perfect sentence it's very easy subject is we verb is had written letters object here there is no question of changing the helping verb we can change easily had plus verb 3 in the passive voice had plus been plus verb 3 now it's very easy letters had been written by has these are the changes we should follow now these are the sentences can you change the hermit was digging the beds very good the sentence is past continuous tense it's very easy the beds were being dug by the hermit now the king has answered all the questions which is the tense very good present perfect tense it's very easy all the questions have been answered by the king all the questions is a plural noun so have is used now take down the assignment answer the following questions the first one how did the king treat the man the wounded man now the second question what according to the hermit was the most important business these are the questions for two mark next change the following sentence into passive form your men saw me the first sentence the second sentence is students were writing the examination now the third sentence the king has asked the questions the king has asked the questions yes thank you very much